Now to a small corner of Scotland with big ideas about the future of education. Pupils on the island of Isla are the first in Europe, it seems, to go fully digital and are gaining admiring glances from across the water. What better place then to send Ruth Davidson to find out more? Isla, the southernmost island of the Inner Hebrides. Quiet, tranquil, home to just over 3,000 people. It's said that island life is lived at a slightly slower pace, but here on Isla, there's a group of pupils on the fast track to the future. This high school in Beaumont is leading the way in new technology. It's the first school in Europe to give every pupil their own take-home computer. Appropriately enough for this small part of rural Scotland, it's a quiet revolution that's going on, but it's a revolution nonetheless. It's a conversation you're going to have. So you have some ideas in your head, as a designer. Okay. Ian Stewart is the driving force behind the scheme, which has seen these ultra-light, compact and mobile machines handed out to all 245 pupils here. With cutting-edge software, multimedia applications and write-on technology, the UMPCs are more powerful and expensive than your average laptop. And it's not just web design classes like this that are benefiting. The pupils here use the new technology in all their lessons, changing the way they and their teachers work. Don't get, get that confused with writing an essay for you by talking to the computer. Mm -hmm. You still need to plan out an essay, you still need to plan out what you're doing. The real revolution is happening after the school bell, in kitchens and bedrooms in houses across the island. For when the pupils get home, these PCs are not just their jotters, they'll act as textbooks, notes and videos too, their window on the world. Homework can be emailed to the teacher and, such is the excitement with the new technology, so far pupils' productivity has gone through the roof and assignments are more often being handed in on time. The results have created interest across Europe. An international school in Monaco is the latest to get in touch to find out how islanders here are getting on. Pride in the trailblazing initiative is apparent. Because we live on an island, we've got disadvantages to everything. We never thought, we never expected to get such a fantastic piece of equipment because of the school, because we're in an island and things like that. You know, we didn't think we'd be able to, you know, get manage to get the funding and the money for it which is pretty spectacular for, for an island such as us. And how has it changed the way that you do your lessons? It's, it's different. It's a, you know, it's, it's a big change from using, you know, just taking out your jaw or taking out textbooks. Whereas with this, you've got everything. You've got your notes, you've got school notes in it from what your teacher can give you. You've got the day, the, your day's work that you can look over at night time instead of having to get out paper and looking through things. You know, it's just it's just the one, it's just clean. It's, it's tidy, it's, it's there, you know, it's, it's quite easy to use. The local communities fully supportive of what's going on at the school. Parents are pleased, if at times a little daunted by their techno-savvy offspring. They're not phased by new technology, they're quite happy to just embrace it. Here we're lucky we had the cyber cafe in Port Ellen, so a lot of the children have been down there using PCs even if they don't have one at home. The funding for all of this has come from the Scottish Executive Schools of Ambition programme. Unveiled by Jack McCall back in 2005, selected schools get an extra £100,000 a year for three years to make improvements. Dismissed at the time by the Tories as half-hearted and the SNP as neither new nor original, fast forward two years and the new government now says it's monitoring progress with interest to ensure any lessons learned will benefit all of the country's schools. But can it afford to? Time for the maths. At £750 per computer, the technology is not cheap. To kit out, even a small school like Isla High School costs in excess of £150,000. To roll a scheme like this out across the whole of Scotland, all 300,000 high school pupils would cost hundreds of millions of pounds. Not as much as a Scottish Parliament building, perhaps, but a huge chunk of the education budget. Here in Isla, the benefits are clearly outweighing the costs, and the computers are even offsetting expenses in other areas. Now that the kit's in place, if we save half our photocopying budget, that pays for a new set for every pupil coming into first year. Which is quite amazing figures when you look at the cost of photocopying. Our education money was going on paying for paper, which went to pupils and teachers' hands, was used for a short time, and then was put in the recycle bin. It's unclear what will happen to the Schools of Ambition programme when it's run its course. 
but by any measure, it's been a success story in the Hebrides. There may be a quiet sea change in education going on here in Isla, but whether this wave of new technology will ever make it across to the mainland remains to be seen. I don't remember school being like that when I was at Isla High.